Good. All right. So you're Mike Betts with Redbeard Alternatives, and what is your history? What got you started with this? Uh, so I got out of the military in 2009, and um, you know, to, to, to keep the story short, it was a, a rough road for the first 10 years. Um, you know, between dealing with you know, uh, the different antipsychotics that I would receive from the VA, um, you know, the timing of the care, uh, you know, self-medicating with other substances and, and really, you know, taking myself down a, a pretty dark path um, just because I couldn't, couldn't slow my thoughts down. I couldn't really get a grip on the transition from the military to the civilian life. Um, and then just generally feeling, you know, almost like an outcast, I guess. It, it just, the, the civilian world didn't make sense after I had lived in uh, the Marine Corps and the infantry for four years. Um, and so I originally uh, found cannabis in the medical program in Las Vegas. Um, and it allowed me to start to come off of the antipsychotics, um, kick opiates, help me kick alcohol. It helped me... Um, start to take therapy seriously you know I was able to get out of the house I was able to go to regular meetings every week um, and really start to fix some of the problems that I had been avoiding or self-medicating with um, other things um, you know I keep another story short you know Las Vegas is not the best environment for somebody dealing with mental health or, or PTSD in general um, and so you know we decided to to move to a a little bit smaller area, um, less people, um, and give me a few more opportunities to continue to grow. And so we moved from Las Vegas to Virginia, and that's where I started growing plants um, and really getting some therapeutic benefits out of seeing, you know, something start from a tiny seed. And at the end of the, you know, six, seven months, I have, you know, 10, 15 foot tomato plants, or I've been able to feed my family greens and, and, and garlics and all kinds of different stuff. Um, I really learned the therapeutic benefits of, of growing plants. Uh, and now last year, uh, the hemp uh, farm bill went through, uh, 2018 farm bill, legalizing hemp finally. Um, and Virginia opened up their program. It was a pretty cheap licensing process, so I went ahead and got a license so that I could grow hemp, mainly for myself. You know, the products are expensive to get CBD and, and hemp-related products. And so, you know, I figured if I could just grow it myself, I wouldn't have to do that. And now I'm really controlling everything from start to finish. So that's kind of what led me down the path and got me involved with hemp and, and cannabis in general. Um, and that kind of brings us to where we are right now.